Hello boys and girls. Um for this video I was gonna do a you know um who won twenty fourteen the Xbox or the PS4. Um I got up this morning, I checked my Twitter feed and that sort of stuff. And there's a lovely little video from IGN who um reviewed Tetris, the um ultimate ed edition on PS4. Turns out it doesn't bloody work on PS4. Or it lags really, really fucking badly. Um I'm sorry what? Lags you say? Four coloured blocks lags on a fucking PS4. No. No 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 no. How does the ultimate game system that gets, you know, Advertised all the fucking time has the most power and the most memory and the most fucking this that, and the other can't run fucking Tetris. Are you serious? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, if you went back to launch day, right, a whole twelve months ago, PS4 came out. Um, we all rushed to the shops to fucking bought it. Um, we got it home. I was really keen to play um, the new infamous Second Son. I stuck it in. It was great. Up until the point I had to shake the fucking controller. Really? I thought it was a PS4, not a fucking Wii. Uh, spray little billboard. Fuck off. Where are all the other exclusives that were supposed to be here the, in the last 12 months? What the fuck happened to Drive Club? Eh? Broken? Again? Really? Delayed, you say? I thought you had time for alpha tests and beta tests and all, all that other shit. Right? To get shit to work. That, that is your job. Make games work. But while I'm chatting, I'll tell you what. Let's have a... Let's have another go, see if your shit actually works, shall we? Um, or has it been taken off the list? May have been taken off the list. Yeah, free to play, all completely fucking pointless. Demos, nothing really great I want to fucking play. Themes, pointless. DLC, yeah, it's just fuck you, give me money. And nothing else really. Oh look, there's a new Lara. The top down one. Why? This isn't ten years ago. If we weren't a top down shooter, we'd go back ten, fifteen fucking years. We'd play Grand Theft Auto 1. If we weren't a top down action. Next fucking gen, people. Next gen. That means your shit works. Well. Hopefully. It's like uh, Charles Fusion, right? Perfect example. I went through two fucking controllers playing Charles Fusion. Why? Because the little fucking rubbery shit comes off the fucking stick. How the fuck does that happen? £50 for a controller. £50 fucking pounds. What the fuck are you doing? Really? Explain that to me. Somebody. Right, let's turn that the fuck off for a start. Kick the Xbox on. Unfucking believable. I mean, if it's a frame rate um, issue. You know, frame rate issues are quite common, but then again, you are apparently, PS4, the most graphically enhanced bit of kit there's ever fucking been ever. I mean, if we ever, uh, where have we gone? All right. Here is a graphics card. An old GTX, where, what's this? Uh, 560 Ti. 
See how thick this shit is, right? Massive. Now, this is a, you know, run-of-the-mill, average gaming PC card. It, it will run most games. I've not long upgraded my gaming PCs, so therefore I took the old one out, put some new sparkly ones in, just because I like to run up to the minute games. So this is, in theory, thicker than the PS4, right? So where is your, um, uh, how did you phrase it? Near gaming PC graphics. What fucking graphics card have you got in it then? Because that shit isn't going to fit in a PS4. No fucking way. Ow. Xbox on. Anyway. Um, uh, rants. Right. Oh yeah. Also, PS4. Where the fuck is Gran Turismo 7? We want the, you know, a next gen. So where's your next gen driver? Where is it? Uh, let's see. Xbox has Forza 5 and Forza Horizon 2. That's two. Next gen driving things for Xbox. How many PlayStation ones are there? No. Broken. Delayed. Fucked up. Doesn't work. Um, just why has Sony dropped the fucking ball? I mean, back in the day, I used to love PlayStation. I was a PlayStation through and through. Until I, you know, went next gen, I bought a PS4 and an Xbox One, roughly the same time, and Xbox just works. It just does what it says on the tin to do. If you want to watch TV, watch fucking TV. No drama. Um, if you're playing a game and you want to Skype your friend, it's it's doable if you want to sit and watch fucking YouTube for hours or Twitch or any of that other shit if you if you want to just play a game again it's fucking doable loading times are roughly the same but you know nine times out of ten shit generally fucking works I think personally if you go back 12 months knowing what we know now about both systems. No cunt in the world is going to buy a fucking PS4. I mean, in a few months' time, we have Bloodborne coming out, which on PS4, you know, is going to be fucking broken. We've lost so much faith in PlayStation over the last 12 months. Shit, it's just broken. Um, the new Uncharted. Fuck, that's going to be terrible. If PS4 can't even run Tetris, that's four different coloured blocks. Right? It's not hard. Four. One, two, three, four. Four coloured blocks that he struggles with. If you don't believe me, I'll put a link in the description. You can go to the, the um, IGN page, watch their review of it, and it would just be shockingly, shambolically fucking terrible. So, in conclusion, who do I think... Um, wins 2014 uh, Xbox One and PS4 I'd probably give it to Xbox One basically because of the quality of games and the amount of games that have had less problems at launch and throughout the, the year I mean off the top of my head you got what uh, where have we gone you've got Titanfall uh, Dead Rising 3, Forza 5, Forza Horizons. I know the Master Chief has some multiplayer issues, but then again, so did GTA Remastered. Um, yeah, so that's a good amount of games. PS4 had Infamous, with the sh let's shake the controller bollocks. Um, Last of Us Remastered, so... A remaster for a remaster. You can take out Halo. Um, there hasn't been that many other quality games that have come out and not been broken. Um, 
But then again, the game companies have a lot to answer for, especially Ubisoft. I mean, Jesus, the amount of stuff they've fucked up is unreal this year. Um, I think the only thing that's actually worked, Ubisoft-wise, has to be Trials Fusion. That's the only thing that worked out of the box, ready to go for Ubisoft. Um, Assassin's Creed, that had a load of problems. Um, I'm not sure about Far Cry 4. I think it had some issues, but not many. Um, and now with the you know, new Tetris Platinum Edition, is laggy as fuck and everything else with four colour blocks and you know I can't see how that even happens. Um moving forward to twenty fifteen I don't know. I reckon it's gonna be a really a really dodgy year game wise. Um on Xbox One you've got the new Tomb Raider coming out. That will have to perform well from day one. Um, on the PS4 side, you've got Uncharted. That's going to have to perform well from day one. Because those two are so closely matched. Because Uncharted is the male Lara, really. Um, Bloodborne. I'm sceptical of that again. Because, you know, it's, it's been a long time going. We haven't really seen any good beta tests or alpha tests. We're not sure how well it's going to work. Are the graphics going to be up to scratch? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a dodgy old time coming. I think in the future, going forward, um, let's just not believe anything E3 says. I mean, um, the guy came out last year and, and said, PS4, don't worry if your friends haven't got the same game, you can game share. Technically, yes, um, as long as it's not a AAA title, or um, you can l log in using your friend's ID and you have to do a load of configuration and that sort of shit. It isn't a one touch op operation, you know, like press triangle, come down a list slightly, share game. I don't know why it's not that, you know, easy, but who am I? I don't know. I. I don't write this shit, so, um, yeah, needs to be, needs to be a better year, game-wise, uh, they've all had 12 months now to, you know, program for the system and other sort of stuff, hopefully there'll, there'll be some decent demos out during the year of upcoming games, um, I'm hoping the games that they put on, like, um, PlayStation Plus and Xbox Gold get better because it's a bit piss poor at, for the last year. It's really games no cunt wants to play. You know, it, it's just, just lacking of just good quality games. So with that, have a happy holidays and I will see you next year. Bye bye.